Hey, good evening everybody. My name is Dirk Rustov and I'm a real alcoholic and uh, this is a parking lot meeting. This is what AAs do when, uh, when things don't work out the way we chose and this is in regard to the uh, COVID-19, otherwise known as the coronavirus. Uh, a lot of our churches and meeting spaces have been shut down and uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I never had the coronavirus. Uh, I had the ice house virus, maybe the vodka virus, maybe the bourbon virus. But uh, nevertheless, we're not going to let that stay, uh, slow us down. And uh, we were just talking, anonymity is a uh, spiritual principle uh, of all our traditions, uh, only of which over we he had the uh, ability to break in public and in private. And once again, I, I break my anonymity because I am Dark Rustov and I'm a real alcoholic. Uh, and I know that because it tells me right in this book. Uh, on page 21, it does say, what about the real alcoholic? Uh, he's seldom mildly intoxicated. He's often insanely drunk. That's me. Uh, he is a real Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde when I drink, that's me. Uh, he is often the most sensible, normal person, except when it comes to my liquor consumption, of which I have no control, that's me. I can't stop once I start. And the last point is, uh, I become disgustingly and dangerously antisocial. And that's a fact. Uh, six months of holding up and drinking myself to death is pretty much proof of that. So anyway, it brings us to the, uh, to the uh, point of this, um, or the topic rather, of this meeting. And um, it's, you know, we've got all this, uh, this panic, you know, there's a <coughs> pandemic thing and it's t it tends to kind of dominate some of the meetings I've been in lately. And uh, it's kind of wild because uh, everything is really, you know, based on fear. Uh, and I'm not talking about just AAs, I'm talking about everybody in general. Um, and uh, there's three things we're, we're gonna lead into. This is the topic, we've got uh, resentments, anger, and fear. Uh, resentments <clears throat> mentioned 65 times in this little book, this little 164 page book. Uh, fear uh, goes after that with 113 entries and uh, anger is 137. So fear is, uh, for me, uh, anger, uh, fear manifests itself in anger. That's just me. I have all these fears that I didn't want to talk about, you know, coming in and, and how I portray that to everybody else is through anger. I'm a real jackass. I'm a real dick. And uh, that's just me. Um, that's a character defect and I still have to work on that every day. Uh, resentments. It says uh, resentments are our number one offender and that's usually stemmed by, if not always stemmed by, anger, another form of it. So once again, underlying fear. Uh, it tends to perpetuate all those things. Uh, I was talking to a psychologist last night, a good friend of mine, Dr. Dave, and uh, we were talking about all this uh, this craziness with you know uh, everybody you know mobbing the stores and, and you know vacating the roads and the, at the same time. But um, we were talking, and he said, you know, fear is trying to control something we have no control over. Uh, that certainly was true of me with alcoholism, and uh, as it plays out with everybody else. Um, the non-alcoholics, what do we have control over? We have control over wiping out the stores of hand sanitizer and toilet paper, even though there should be plenty. You know, but we that's a little comfort zone or whatever. So people are just driven to, to act, you know, act out the way they are. And that's just human nature. Because not everybody's fortunate to have a 12-step uh, program. Um, where it states in the book on page 66, it says, uh, fear, both real and fancy. You know, sometimes we, you know, we can come up with a fear that's literally not legit um, and, and overthink it, overdo it, as an alcoholic, I do. Now, don't get me wrong, this does not mean that we don't take shit seriously. Uh, this does not mean anything, but, and we should, absolutely. You know, in this case, wash your hands, don't touch your face, limit your contact. I get that. But uh, it doesn't mean that we need to isolate from our AA meetings or uh, with our contact with other AAs because, you know, I do know this. Um, if I let something interfere with my recovery, uh, alcohol will kill me. It's fatal, it's deadly 100% of the time, period, if it's not arrested. I, I don't think I'm going to pass away tomorrow, God willing, from this virus. So uh, why am I going to go to something that will take me out? And uh, it also says on Roman numeral XIX, uh, A's hang together or die separately. Stay out, we got a video flash and it's anonymous. So, uh, you know, hang together or die separately. And, uh, and what that means to me is, if we gotta do parking lot meetings, man, I can't think of any cooler way to deal with what's going on. And uh, a lot of the uh, churches, we just got news tonight that all the churches are closed, even the ones we thought, you know, were up and running. Um, 
I already have had probably a half a dozen phone calls and another dozen texts on people looking at parks, uh, outdoor arenas, amphitheaters, and things like that. So we do have an option, and uh, our option is simply to get together and talk about recovery and how we can live one day at a time and not drink. So there's our discussion for tonight. Thanks for joining us. Um, check out the, uh, the uh, Facebook page. It's Delirium Dirk, Scared Sober, dash Delirium Dirk. And the website, of course, www.scaredsober.org. And uh, go ahead and click on a, a like and share this bad boy or subscribe to it. We appreciate the feedback and we're gaining traction. So I look forward to talking to you all soon. Thanks.